Thursday night football with the Jaguars and the Saints, you guys. And oh, this one, uh, uh, look, uh, it's not, uh, we've had worse, and this, this isn't terrible, right? Let's, uh, you know, calm down a little bit. Now, maybe the thing, the information surrounding the game is going to take it down a little bit. I don't know how you guys feel about the game. You can already roll in with your comments here, but. We know the headline of this game surely has to be the status of uh, Trevor Lawrence going into this game uh, with a, you know, pretty significant injury as far as uh, what we know right now. I mean, the, his status certainly is questionable. And now the Jaguars have signed a quarterback here last uh, uh, day or day or so to get someone with some reps in there today and throw the ball around in case they need to go, uh, you know, with – uh, the backup here and end up, you know, needing a emergency quarterback. <laughs> Luis is all ready to come in on the Saints. Perky says uh, this is his uh, max play on the Jaguars. So I look, uh, the line will move if the if Lawrence is not playing. So, and yeah, no doubt. I mean, if he plays right, uh, the status is so questionable, right? That if he does play, you've got to figure that it is a lingering injury. In fact, now I'm starting to see twos out there here for the Saints as it continues to move. Now, I will say this about Lawrence's injury status. Um, to me, you know, while it has been played up a little bit, I don't know if it was necessarily, well, I'm not saying, you know, nobody fakes an injury or anything, but, um, you know, he's been kind of dinged up here and there all season, right? So, um, I don't know. I, I kind of want to lean to the, you know, the fact that he hasn't been ruled out that he could be in the game. Here's Blake. He wants to come in on the under here. And, of course, uh, going to want to get probably my feelings about that. Or do you? Do you want? Do you care what I think? <laughs> Ray's got the Saints. Dwight here has the Saints. And right, so here I'm, uh, J and Ferner on the on the Jags. Look at the Jags. They're one of the few teams that refuse the buy out of England, right? Usually, and they played the two weeks now. That could have been part of the strategy. That could have been part of the. Uh, they want to take their buy later. So maybe they thought, well, we have two, we're in two weeks in England. I don't know. I, I don't even know why this would make any sense, but every team almost, it's pretty solid. I don't know what the stats are, but most teams, I believe, take the buy out of England and they are not. Yeah, it's a knee injury. So, and so what's happened here is the Jaguars played two in England, came back, played well, obviously. Uh, you know, in their next game out, but now they're playing a short week. So they've gone England back, played good, you know, and then short week game. That it, it seems like in an injured quarterback, it seems like a recipe for disaster, actually. Uh, everyone knows the same as we can make fun of Carr and all day long and his underachieving and all that. Um, there are other good things to like about the Saints. And, and Derek Carr can handle the situation. We know that. It's not a matter of, uh, you know, mistake, sure. Pick six, sure. I was on a show yesterday doing um, uh, some DFS coverage. I'm not even playing DFS now in Nevada, but uh, they needed someone on there. And I was talking about how, hey, um, you know, in the, in the Sunday, they were talking Thursday night slate. And I said, well, look, I'm trying to – if I try to hit a home run here on a DFS slate – uh, I'm going to have things like Derek Carr and I'm going to have the Jaguars defense. And I'm going to try, if I try to win a big contest, certainly I want, you know, some defense here in a game, probably going to have some low score, maybe some defensives because this is ugly, kind of ugly, kind of ugly. And I'll tell you about it in a moment, but we know Derek Carr can be ineffective at times and cost team games. He can also win you the game here and there, especially given the weapons that, the Saints have, especially with Kamara getting better. And uh, I think Chris Olave, I, you know, could you imagine if this guy had a real, uh, you know, big size or something that's 
well, maybe that's part of what makes him special. And I feel like he's going to get killed out there one of these days. I'm scared every time he tries to make one of these uh, in-traffic catches because he's such a great talent. He's one of my favorite players, obviously, uh, in the league, talking about Chris Olave. So uh, with uh, Lawrence here in the, you know, just going to have to wait and see, unfortunately, right now. <laughs> and uh, uh, I can't wait here all day. So I guess I'm going to have to make uh, make the call here. Uh, let, me, let me get back to your plays and your comments as well. And the Saints get to the red zone, they can't score, right? And they right, and, and you know what? Funny thing is, they actually have had some, you know red zone. So now it, it's almost a league wide problem here at this point. So. Look, touchdowns are hard, man. <laughs> Here's Darren says he's on the under and the Jaguars plus the points. Now he's getting two points. I mean, this is a mover. This is a this is certainly a mover. Uh, you know, this line was uh, a, you know some places DraftKings opened it at Jacksonville one and a half, and now the Saints are a two point favorite. I think he's going to play too, Thomas. New Orleans, uh, they've lost three of their last four. They have just eight offensive touchdowns and 63 drives this season. And they've been uh, they're having trouble at the end of the uh, uh, at the end of the half with the other, the other team kind of, you know, getting points. Here's Nathan. He that's why I'm first half. Oh. Under first half and under for full game. Jags and under here. And uh, Thomas, he's trying to find the uh, – He's maybe he's trying to get to the Saints here. Well, my play on the show here is on the under, of course, right? Um it almost, uh, it, I think it could go premium. Have we lost some value out of this? Did it open 42, 42 and a half? Yes. Is it down to 40? And uh, yeah, so maybe that's why the Jags are getting the uh, total here or is getting my free play on the show. And dial it back a little bit, Perky. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, any good? Uh, do I have any good stats here? All right. Uh, so Jacksonville, they won at Indianapolis, thirty-one to twenty-one. That was, you know, uh, we kind of consider uh, games in England home games, right? But the one thing they did do was, uh, you know, they only took off one of their home games. Before, you know, when Jackson goes over there, that's one of their home games. On the schedule this year, they had one home game and one road game removed from their schedule. So uh, there were, you know, and it's kind of like a little bit of a built-in advantage, right? Because we think of Jacksonville as a team that uses the England home to, to their advantage. I think that's right. I I didn't look at the uh, – to look at the – I just was going off of some uh, commentary on that. Bill says, take Olave over here. So that was my strategy, though. If you guys, maybe you guys could play it for me. I was telling him because you know, I was on the show and I'm in Las Vegas. We don't have DFS here anymore. And I really like DFS. And you people, th you know, you try to people build lineups. If you're building cash game lineups, right, you're always building, you know, trying to jam up the best players. When you're trying to win a contest with, thousands and thousands of people you got to be crazy there's just no way other way around it you've got to have the one guy who ends up in the end zone that nobody was expecting so i was like you know saying and it, it, i was on with a, a pretty pretty strong expert i mean you knew exactly what i was saying but i was like okay so here what you what you've got to do in this one is you've got you know i want Derek carr over First of all, we don't know about Trevor Lawrence. Hello to Mark. But so I want uh, Derek Carr in this game, right? Because I don't know if you're looking, if it, if Lawrence is in and you're picking a slate and you want one of the quarterbacks, um, 
you know, I think people might gravitate towards Lawrence a little bit. He's been, you know, a little bit more established with a champion, with a you know, playoff pedigree a little bit here. And Carr is a kind of got, you know, got out of town because could lead the Raiders, you know, uh, year after year, even though maybe it wasn't him. The Saints are three and three. This is a winnable game. And, uh, you know, people are talking up the Saints as a, you know, looking good here despite this record being very live in the division because number one, the uh, terrific defense that they've shown so far. Uh, yes, kind of the spectacular players that they have on offense, right? With uh, uh, Kamara getting better, healthier, or whatever. We, oh, you know, we're never going to get back. We're, are we ever going to get back to vintage Kamara? You know, when, you know, it, I want to say it was almost a short window, right? Of, of really uh, over the top play for Kamara. But, you know, you're still going to trust him uh, with the ball making plays. So the under for me here. Um, I haven't seen anybody in the chat yet roll with it, so you know I will. Uh, the Saints have gone uh, 15 and 1 to the un, uh, 1 over and 15 unders in their last 16 games. There's no qualifiers. There's no uh, this home team, road team, dark night, day, night, grass, turf. They've gone under in 15 of their last 16 games, averaging 31.1 points per game in those games with their opponents. And not to mention throw in all the thir- you know prime time unders, which Thursday night is just three and three so far. There's not you know Thursday night has not been a prime time under night. It's actually 500. But considering you have the Saints defense and you know a Jacksonville offense that look. Travis Etienne's an NFL running back, but he still has never done it. He's never done, and I wanted him to be. I I thought he would have a great career. He's had a serviceable career. He's had you know, but things can happen with Etienne. In, you know, he can get dinged up at any moment. He can drop the ball at any moment. Yeah. Well, and again, you're hanging. You got a you know a team that definitely is uh, hanging their hat with some defense here. Uh, no doubt about it, doing a great job. And uh, But here's the other thing. The Saints have out, outgained their last two opponents, 734 to 453. So, And that, that's funny because, right, between the 20s, they're fine. It's the red zone problems. Are you still going to get field goals? Um, and, every, and, and, you know, don't you love it? I mean, you know, you are talking to Mr. Under, who lost three overs last week, but uh, come on. Everybody loves a good 80-yard drive that ends, or, you know, a 70-yard drive that ends in a field goal. It takes, uh, you know, six, seven minutes off the clock. I mean, other than, you know, got to score, right? There's always a fine line. You know, you can't play The game's not going to sit there at the 50-yard line every day. So sometimes you just root for it. Everybody loves a missed field goal. All right, we'll move on. I've spent 20 minutes on these games. It's ridiculous, but I love talking about it. And I love bringing some great stats and all that. So my play here, though, is on the under. You know, um, any subscribers? I mean, I have a lot of totals on my premiums, but here we're going to go under as a free play. Missed a little bit of value here, but I said those Saints games, 31.1 points over the last season and, you know, over the last basically calendar year, right? 17, 16 games, did I say? 15 and one to the under. St- you know, straight, straight out of the box. So, also, Saints have gone under with their team total in five of their six games. And you know what? So is their opponent. They've held their opponent under their team total. And uh, of course, Saints perfect 6 and 0 this year. The one over came last season. So Saints are also 16, 9, and 2 against the spread in their last 27 games off of a loss. And, well, Lawrence, for all of his success, um, they are uh, 16 and 24. Perky says it goes over. He says he's got the Saints to rock the Jaguars here. 